everyone. This is Chris Dunkel. In this episode, what we're going to look at are adding transitions in between clips that we have on our timeline. So the first thing I need to do to have a transition, you need to have two clips or more. So I'm going to grab some of the uh, little posters that we've done before. Let's actually get rid of those two items there. Um, and one thing you can do in Wii Video as well is you can select multiple items at once. So what I did was I clicked on this item, held my shift key, clicked on the last item. Now they're all selected and I'm just going to drag them all down at once. Now it's going to ask me in this case, uh, how long do I want each to stay up? And so the default is five seconds. Uh, I could change that. Uh, in this case, it's going to ask me if I want to apply an animation and so on and so forth. I'm going to uncheck those just for what we're doing here. So basically what I have is I have uh, one image up for five seconds. So we've got our radio broadcast poster from radio broadcast we did, our mime. It's just a promotional thing, uh, our film festival, and so on and so forth. So you'll notice I've got five separate clips. Excuse me, I have more than five clips here. I uh, How many do I have? I've got seven clips, it looks like. Yes. So in order to add a transition, we're going to come up to the top. We're going to go past the audio file. And this one, if you hover over, it'll tell you is transitions. Now they have standard transitions, some additional ones that they've added. If you want to see what a transition does, simply click on it. And over on the right, it's going to show you. It's going to give you two images and show you the transition from image one to image two. So you'll notice uh, like mosaic here. That's kind of a cool little effect. The rainbow is always a popular one with some of the students that like seeing that one. Uh, curtains come and then they swap out the picture while the curtains are closed. So in order to add the transition, it's very, very simple. You're simply going to take the transition and drop it between the clips where you want to add it. So you need to put it on the timeline that has the clips. You notice if I come up above, it turns red. It's telling me you can't drop it here because there's no clips. But if I put it between, uh, it's now added it in between these two clips. So if I'm, I'm going to move my marker back, I'm going to hit play. If you watch over here in the window, you'll see that it peels away and shows the next one. Okay. Now you can click on your transition and you can control how long that takes. So I have this page curl that's going to happen in one second, but I could change that. Maybe I want the, to take three seconds. You notice it widens that quite a bit. So you notice it's a slow page curl that we have. Now, one thing to bear in mind is when you're making your transition longer, it's going to shorten the length of time that the surrounding images are on the screen because it's, you know, my this image is on screen and then it starts to peel away and it's peeling, it's taking longer to peel away. So just keep that in mind that may come into play sometimes when you're doing something. Now you can add transitions between video clips as well. So it's not just images. So um, make sure you know that because sometimes you might want to add a fade, especially if you're doing a video where in the storyline you're changing a location. So for instance, uh, the student's doing a story where they're, you know, they wake up at home and they're eating their breakfast. And now we're going to transition into uh, them walking into the school building. A fade transition is a really good transition for that, where it fades out, and comes in again. Uh, additional transitions, they, they're, I think, just kind of some, uh, I don't know actually why they don't have them with their standard unless they just came out with these. Uh, just some extra special effects there. So that's how you do transitions. Uh, and remember, just drag them down on the same timeline as the clips and just drop it in between the middle of what you want. Make sure it's green and you're good to go. And now you have a new transition. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask.